Hi, it's Carola and in today's video my friend Gabby from the channel Gabby in Paris and I are looking up the locations for the movie Amélie Poulain. So the movie Le Fabule Destin d'Amélie Poulain, it's basically about Amélie Poulain who is a girl who lives in Paris and about it's about her life and more particularly when she decides to help out people in her surroundings like her father, her neighbor, the painter, etc. And kind of what impact this has on her life. And she learns many things along the way and she finds love. Finding most of the locations has been the work of Tim. And I'll link his homepage down below as well. In the description of the video, you'll also find all of the addresses and locations to go look up the places yourself. The movie starts with a fly landing in Montmartre, which was filmed in this street, and then glass is dancing, and it is said that it is next to Galette de Moulin. Meanwhile, in a fifth floor apartment, 28 Avenue Trudin, in the 9th arrondissement of Paris, returning from his best friend's funeral, Eugène Couleur erased his name from his address book. Amélie spends her childhood outside of Paris in Anguille and this is also where some of the clips are filmed. The little scene where the father gets out of the water is filmed in the Piscine des Amiraux in Montmartre. Of course, we couldn't get in with our camera. This is the location where the neighbor has a car accident and blames the camera of Amélie. Other café scenes were filmed in the little café in Montmartre, Les Du Moulin, and if you're going in there now, it is very easy to tell that this was the location where Amélie was filmed. If you're in the cafe, you have to go to the bathroom because they have all the memorabilia of Amelie located there. This is where you can see Amelie throwing stones. We couldn't get quite onto the location, it was blocked off because they don't want people in the water. This is the location of the Maison Collignon, the fruit cellar, and actually by now the real place has been renamed like that. They do sell fruit, but when you go in there they also sell all kinds of other stuff. And the owner actually gave me this book. Amelie and her neighbors actually live in the house above the supermarket. There's a little scene where we can see Amelie leaving her home and we see that she is actually leaving the house number 56. And that the fruit stand is right around the corner. There's a little scene in front of the station Bia Hakim with Amelie and her little notebook. You can see the Metro 6 going over the Pont Bia Hakim. The correct Monsieur Bretodeau lives in Rue Mouffetard 27. We then see Monsieur Bretodeau walking down the Rue Mouffetard until he reaches the phone booth. But it's actually quite on the opposite side.
this is where the phone booth used to stand. I don't know if there has been a phone booth or if that has been placed for the film. And this is the reverse angle of the phone booth location. This is where we see the slow motion scene of Amelie walking happily over a bridge. It's the bridge Pont de l'Art and you can see Pont Neuf in the background. Amelie is leading the blind man through the Rue Lepic and they end up at the metro station Lamarck. We see Amelie visiting the father There are a lot of photomontons in Amélie, but none is still in the location that it was when the film was filmed because there's a much higher security now and the whole station has been revised. Outside of Gardelest you see these stairs that Nino is rushing up. When he's up there, he gets onto his scooter and then he has a little accident and bumps the scooter into a car and drops the book. The tiny newsstand where Amelie is seen buying her newspaper and also chatting with the owner has gotten much bigger over the years. This is where Amelie goes to copy the key of Monsieur Collignon. Nino works in a sex shop on Boulevard de Clichy called The Palace. The elaborate scene in front of the Sacre Coeur starts on the bottom near the roundabout when Nino gets a phone call, and of course back then it was phone booths. So then there are some arrows on the ground and he is let up. And then there is a mime showing him into the right direction. And when he's all the way up, he sees Amelie down at his bike. So he rushes back down and he gets another phone call and another clue. These are the stairs towards the end of the film that one of the patrons of the cafe runs down. Thank you so much for watching and please go over to Gabby's channel where we have a few collabs as well. Please give the video a thumbs up and see you next time. Bye!